Big here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. DC, this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just eight great fights in People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked. Some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Outstanding need in the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Single collar tie now. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Powerful leg kick lands. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Chor. It's a good right hand right Making there. Making all these shots count. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big kick lands. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the jab there. Beautiful straight counter. Just out of range with the big right hand. Another knee, and sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, strong punch there by Chor. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy. And a nice shot to stay with it there to complete the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Under two minutes now to go in the round. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard, high level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just missed with the left there. All right, single collar tie now. Good punch. Try to establish that jab. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. I mean, how many can he take? The Korean Superboy gets back up again. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. 
Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that, Jay. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice, nice right hand. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one? That's gonna break it. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Ooh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh! Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with that right hook. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. And they separate. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. throws that body kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Huge right hand! Big knee! Wow. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. 
much. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Close guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. Throwing those no shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good night. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just unable to quite find that range. Entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to the box. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or am no, I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's <laughs> over. It's over now. Right hand on point. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. you got to watch up the Notice how he leads with his hip when he goes to land the strike. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Three minutes now to go in this one. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. And just misses with that big right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Right under the elbow, body kick. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Flush right hand is true. Oh, nice right hand, John. And he gets the takedown. 90 seconds now to go in the round. 
Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's, He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Throwing hard in the pocket. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. And he landed the right hand there. Hey, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. I mean, how many can he take? Well, he's got his back now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Choice right back to the full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, he's trying to land effective strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big body kick land. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he continues. Oh! Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, what a nice right hand. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, that left hand is on point. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Choi's got the full mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back mount now. Choi's back in full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. That's a big strike right there. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got it. Starting to make these shots count. That kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he's popping that. Oh! Yeah, he's real bad. Close guard.
right now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike, and he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout.